Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Gary's Kitchen. We were finally able to get together. We've been kind of busy over the summer. Uh, he works more than most people half his age and you run circles around him. Well, I don't run too much anymore, but yes. <laughs> and he also just had some minor surgery on his hand. So it's just some carpal tunnel stuff. But uh, anyways, I am going to be the one doing the cooking and he's going to tell me how to do things today. Uh, but what are we making today? We're going to make some uh, spiced up tacos for taco today, not taco Tuesday. All right. So sounds pretty yummy and we're going to get started. And we're also going to make some chocolate pudding finally and we're going to make it right this time. Nice. Not the crap we used, we made before that <laughs> tasted like just beans. The bean dip? Yes, chocolate bean dip. Chocolate bean dip. That was awful. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get started. All right, so what do we have here? Just got some diced up uh, onions and uh, some roasted red peppers out of a jar that we're just uh, sauteing down a little bit. Uh, and you had me saute this in some liquid which came from uh, a can of green chilies. Yes. Milder. Those are medium, I believe. Okay. And I just added a splash of water to help prevent sticking. And all we're doing is cooking so that the onions become a little bit soft. And then we can move on to the next step. Okay. So what do we have here? That's just uh, some chopped up seitan. And I've got our, I made some seitan rolls, uh, sausages, and just a uh, cut them up and put them in a blender, chop them all up so they uh, look like meat uh, that you use for tacos. So that's our taco meat, uh, about, a, uh, about a pound, I think, uh, according to what you need. All right, so dumping so it in here. Just jump that in there. Okay, so we want to put the, our taco seasoning uh, out so. of the package. So, How much the whole thing? Yeah, dump the whole thing right in there, sprinkle it all over. And, so we add uh, our three quarters of a cup of water. And just give that a good stir. And you might have to add a little bit more water as, as you go along. You don't want it too uh, too dry. And of course. You got to add some garlic. What am I doing? Am I doing it this Gary's Kitchen style or? Yeah, about uh, a quarter of a shovel. That's good. That's good. And a little black pepper. Oh, black about pepper. About a teaspoon. That good? Yep. It's like yeah. a, I think that's like a half a teaspoon. Yep. I put and in. about uh, a oh. teaspoon of uh, chili powder. Chili powder. Good? Yes. And that is really delicious eating it right out of the container too. It smells good. And just give it a keep giving it a good stir. Pretty pretty simple recipe really. It smells delicious. Okay, now what? Now we're gonna have to heat up our taco shells. Uh, we got soft tacos today. What about the green chilies? Oh I'm sorry, yes, you gotta add those green chilies in there. Okay. There are you. So we just used a can of store-bought green chilies. And my brother is here too. And just to let you guys know, the cookbook is coming along. I hope to have the draft done by the end of the month. I should have the draft done anyways. Um, it's looking really nice. And my brother actually contributed one of the recipes. He put his roasted potatoes in there. Okay, so what are we doing now? Cook up some uh, soft taco shells and. Uh, okay, all right. So this one here, I'm going to put it on medium high, right? Okay. You can make your own taco shells too if you want. Uh, I have a video actually on how to do that uh, to make corn tortillas. Very simple. Uh, or you can get them at the grocery store. And we're just going to heat them up on a skillet until they. I, I'm going to try to get them a little bit brown, a little bit, you know. Right. Warm them through. Okay. By the way, you can smell this outside. You Doesn't it smell good? Yeah, it smells good. Like we have a place to build the tacos? Um, no. The 
you're on the air. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so now what? Well, we, we cooked our taco meat. We have our accoutrements to go with the, uh, now just build your taco the way you want to. And uh, go ahead, Jeanette, you can start. One second. I forgot the most, the main ingredient to this dish. You can't have tacos without Johnny Horn's group. This is an easy peasy meal. Not a lot of prep work to do. You can have Taco Tuesday every day if you want. Mm, it's delicious. So some other ideas. You can make some cashew sour cream to put on these, guacamole, uh, diced scallions. Thank you. Um, really, you could top it with uh, anything that you wanted to. That meat is unbelievable. Now, if you can't do seitan, like if you're gluten uh, sensitive or have celiac disease, you wouldn't want to do seitan because it's made out of pure vital wheat gluten. But you could do crumbled tofu, right? Yes. You could do any of the, if you do any of the faux meats, you could do uh, that in there. Um, you could do crumbled tempeh. That would do that yeah. would do good yep and it's all the seasonings that's what you're yeah you know the base is what you uh what you want or what you can use and the, the seasonings make it are we good i think we're good okay what are we doing now okay we just had our tacos so now we're going to have some dessert right. pudding time Yay! pudding time okay so let's let's start out with uh, what we need i just happen to have some black beans Pour them in the blender. Just a can of uh, rinsed uh, black beans. Next ingredient, we want a cup of plant-based milk. This is almond milk. I got three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now, I usually mix it into the milk first because if you don't, if you just add it to the mixture, it'll, it comes out a little too grainy. So, and this won't totally mix well but it's good enough and it goes next uh, just uh, put as many dates as you like in there i like about eight you better do this jeanette because uh, my hand looks disgusting i like to make sure that they are indeed pitted they say they're pitted but i still next ingredient we want to about a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. Now, let's uh, blend it. It's a little too watery. It tastes like It needs more dates, that's all. So do I. Okay. That's much better. Okay. okay. So um, a pinch of salt. A hairy pinch or a normal person pinch? We're going to do a, a normal person pinch. Oh, that's that's not a normal person pinch. There's some pudding. It'll thicken up a little It'll bit in the, in, the, in the fridge overnight. What do you think? Mm. Is it good? Yes, it's very sweet. I'm going to try it too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's really good. All right, so I want to show you guys one thing. We just used dates that we got at the grocery store. And this is the size of these dates, okay? So they are about an inch long, half an inch wide. I had to use 12 of these um, to get the sweetness that we like. Now, some dates are actually twice this size. It depends on the kind of dates that you get. So anyways, if your dates are larger start with maybe six these were like i said but these are on the small side so i had to use 12. and my dad also added a little bit of honey we do use a little bit of honey uh, or maple syrup uh, if you're completely vegan obviously you don't want to use honey but you can you know add some maple syrup if you want it a little bit sweeter or add a, a couple more dates and try that now you can uh, this is delicious over strawberries or blueberries drizzle it on some cereal some bananas and then the next thing I'm going to try, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to try to fill the uh, popsicle molds 
we can put some sticks in there and make some fudgies out of it. So I'll let you know how that make turns out because I don't want to screw it up on live TV. Okay, so there you have it. We made some tacos and some pudding made with black beans, which was very good. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next video. I'll wave with my good hand. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's also clean. Did you throw it out? No, Gary, I did. Okay. Oh, it was right here, I know. It does well, smell pretty good, though. It smells really good. I'm going to put it on warm. Okay, so what are we doing now? Okay. As we keep our uh, taco mix warm, we're, we're going to uh, heat up some uh, soft taco shells. That's, that's them. Will you shut up? Okay, we're filming. I just wanted to mention one thing about the dates here. So we just use dates that we got at the grocery store. And they're little, really. They're about an inch long containers okay they're not very big that's Sometimes. really good pudding here wife give me a little smooch will you get away get away so anyways um <laughs> start if your if your dates are larger start with maybe six i had to use 12. Oh, sorry. what is going on here <laughs>